From the students of Penn State Meteorology, here is your Penn State Campus Weather Service forecast. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Penn State Campus Weather Service. I'm student meteorologist Anna Chimbati with your latest forecast. Right now, we're going to take a live look over Nittany Valley. It's clear where the camera is, but down in the valley, there's a dense layer of fog, so, and visibility is currently at zero miles, so please be careful if you are heading out. The temperature right now is about 48 degrees, so it's pretty cold outside because of the fog. And like I said, the visibility is very low, so be cautious as you are driving this morning. Taking a look at the temperatures of central Pennsylvania, we are at 48 State College. We have a cold spot at about 45 in Clearfield. And looking over the entire state, we have a warm spot up here in Erie at about 57, and it's about 54 down in Philadelphia. Looking at the radar, there's nothing really going on right now, but as we move throughout the day and into tomorrow, we are going to see some showers move through. There's some fog this morning, that's gonna clear out. Some more clouds are going to move through as a low pressure system moves in, and we're going to see some rain tomorrow morning. So if you are tailgating, please be aware that it's going to be pretty showery out there. As we move throughout the day, the rain is going to clear out, and we are going to see mostly cloudy skies for tomorrow. Looking at the headlines for this week, we are going to see some, it's going to be rainy on Saturday for the game, like I said, but then it's going to cool off this weekend. We are currently in the 70s right now, but it's going to be into the 60s and with lows into the 40s. And obviously we're watching Hurricane Matthew, so let's head over to the tropics right now. Hurricane Matthew is currently off the east coast of Florida. It is a category three hurricane with winds at about 120 miles per hour. Yesterday, it moved through the Bahamas, bringing complete devastation. There was storm surge, wind and rain. So please be aware if you are on the east coast of Florida that it is going to bring a lot of rain and wind and storm surge. We have hurricane warnings up the whole coast of Florida, going all the way up into Georgia and South Carolina. And looking at the track of Matthew, he is going to stay on the east coast of Florida. And then throughout the day tomorrow, he is going to move up into Georgia and South Carolina. After that, he will go back into the ocean and loop back around, possibly going back into the Bahamas. Um, so they might get hit with some more wind and rain. Coming back locally into State College, we are going to see a high of about 70 today. We have some fog this morning, but then it's going to clear out and clouds are going to build in throughout the rest of the day. Tonight, we are going to see a low of 56, so not that cold because we're going to have some cloud cover. And then tomorrow for game day, we have kickoff at noon. We're going to see some showery weather, like I said, in the morning. It might clear out by the game, but there may still be some stray showers, so be pre prepared for that. We're going to see a high of 65 as the colder air moves in. For the seven day forecast, after today, it's going to cool off over the weekend. We're going to see highs in the 60s and lows in the 40s with some beautiful weather next week. It's going to be perfect fall weather, so be prepared for that. From the Penn State Campus Weather Service, I'm Anna Chimbati. I hope you all have a great day.